Yes, the title is true. I'm a bit ashamed to admit it. I spent about $800 on a silly orange star. So over the course of about six years, I paid for a SoundCloud Pro account that I absolutely did not need, where the main benefit was this little orange star badge next to my name. But today I'm finally rectifying my mistake. I recently canceled both my uh, my SoundCloud and this personal website for this artist project. And uh, I wanted to talk about it in this video. So if you're subscribed to this channel, there's a high likelihood that uh, uh, you want to make money through music. That's your goal, make a living through music. At a certain point, if you're doing that, your income has to be greater than your expenses. Obviously, right? You can get there two ways, growing your music income or cutting your overall expenses. This had been on my mind as I've been making this push to make music full time. And there was definitely a few expenses that I had been holding on to, a bit of a, a sunk cost fallacy where I had been paying for my own personal website and a SoundCloud Pro account for years for years i stopped using soundcloud years ago and switched over to spotify but i still kept the account and i still kept that silly little orange badge and like the little ability to post more music than a regular account i'm sure you're probably thinking why did i do this why did i make this mistake i think it came down to like an image thing it didn't directly or indirectly help me make money as an artist i wanted to a look more successful right you got the badge you got the badge. But the other reason I feel like I kept on holding on was canceling those services felt like it was tied to quitting music, giving up on the dream. This is where all my old music was. It's like the library of Alexandria, except it was a bunch of mediocre EDM tracks from a 16 year old who just downloaded GarageBand. So deleting those felt like it was deleting the dream I had so long ago. I would lose all of those plays uh, that I worked so hard to get. But in reality, I think it's the other way around. Quitting those expensive services that you don't really need right now is actually getting you closer to that dream where you have like a low enough monthly expense that it can be covered by music. And those plays don't really mean that much. If it deletes those songs that I had up on there, I'm not getting I'm not getting paid off of the whatever 30,000 plays I had back in 2016. I have to focus on what's the best move for today. So I think how I actually started along that road was I was making the, the mistake that a lot of people make where you copy the easily copyable things, where it's like a successful artist have website and orange star, and I do not have those. I want to be successful, therefore I need website in Orange Star. It sounds so silly when you say it out like this, but uh, it, it happens. That's the easy thing to copy, right? You see the thing that's that's like visible and you just want to copy that thing. Where really what you should be doing, what I should have been doing, was copying the things that artists actually do that make them successful, making good music often and sharing it. And basically saving all that money for a bigger runway for myself when I make that switch to making music full time. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against like a SoundCloud Pro account or a personal website as an artist. I think both are tools that are eventually important to have. Like a SoundCloud Pro account lets you know that you're the real deal and not like an impersonator if you're like a really big artist or something. And if you have a large enough discography, of course, being able to host it all. And having a website is, is important if you're doing like a number of different things, not just like releasing music. Because if you're releasing music, people know how to look you up on whatever streaming platform they use. You don't need a website to tell people to do that. If you're selling merch, if you're doing shows, it's nice to have that all in one place. But if you're not doing either of those things, what good is the website? How is it helping you? It's just knowing when it's actually worth it to put down that bread, when it actually helps you make that money. But if you're running like a lean business, running smart, I don't think it's that necessary when you're starting out. I was doing the uh, the proverbial putting the cart before the horse. So yeah, here you can see it was just about $800 on a SoundCloud account alone for the pro version. Was not that necessary. Not at all. <laughs> and for the website, uh, honestly, a little afraid to look at that number two, but uh, all I know is that I canceled it. <laughs> it was probably probably a similar number there too. So yeah, if you're also working on making music full time and trying to take it seriously, I think it's important to watch where you're spending your money. Let this video be the sign to, to cut off that sunk cost. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>